A native of the Philippines, the Reverend Romeo Del Rosario has followed God all over the world as a United Methodist missionary serving in Sierra Leone, Jerusalem, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Cambodia. In each assignment, there are, of course, surprises and uh, new learnings, and this is part of the many perks of being a missionary. What is never a surprise is that I know God leads me all the way, and that wherever I go, God is present already here. That's part of what I understand about God's prevenient grace, is that God is ahead of us, even geographically, to meet us our, at our new assignments. Knowing God is with him gives Del Rosario comfort at times, like during an assignment to Jerusalem during the Gulf War. The General Board of Global Ministries gave me the option to return to the U.S. if I wanted to. At the time, I was an assistant also to the Palestinian pastor who was serving uh, St. George's uh, Cathedral in Jerusalem. And I could not see myself leaving the people, and I cannot imagine myself returning if something happened to the people while I was away. So I felt like I should stay. With each new appointment, a missionary has to learn the language and culture of a new country. Over a lifetime, Del Rosario has learned nine languages, including Creo, Arabic, and Khmer for his current engagement in Cambodia. There are so many needs because Cambodia just only recently, 1975 to 79, I went through a horrific experience of destruction under the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. And so all the schools, all the major institutions, uh, hospitals and clinics and uh, banking and currency were destroyed by that regime. And we're training the people of Cambodia in new skills and, and livelihood programs so that they can begin to be self-independent. Many of the, the people that are there now are children of the survivors. We're talking about a population that really, that's really very young, so part of the excitement is the evangelism is taking place through the leadership of the children and the young people. They are the ones bringing the older generation to the church. A few years of his career were spent in the Philippines, where Del Rosario grew up a third-generation United Methodist. It was good to be able to fulfill the dream of my father, who dreamt that one day I would teach in that school. So the day that I returned to the Philippines and I was entering the campus, in my heart I was telling my father, I've returned. As a young child and as a young person growing up in the Philippines and the churches, I had many occasions to have fellowship with missionaries and I was very aware of their presence. I've always been intrigued by the sheer thought that they would leave their homes in the U.S. and come to the Philippines in order to participate in the mission that was taking place in the Philippines. Among the missionaries who served in the Philippines that impacted my life is Mary Helen Ingerson Marigza. She was actually teaching at the Philippine Christian College, now Philippine Christian University. She volunteered to be the the advisor for the Philippine Annual Conference Young People. By the way, her parents uh, helped support me through seminary and graduate school. That family did not have a brother. They were all sisters. When I reached Caney, Kansas, where the Ingersons lived, I was essentially adopted to my liking. <laughs> In 2012, former United Methodist missionary Mary Helen Marigza was among those who came to see Del Rosario honored as a distinguished alumnus of Boston University's School of Theology. I'm proud to be a United Methodist because of what life has been for me as a United Methodist. I feel like it has given me enough opportunities to be of service. It's given me the joy of fellowship, that we all have our calling and this has been mine and then I'm grateful to God for it. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.